Good morning. Uh, this is Magnus Helberg here in Los Angeles with my daily dashboard update on May 24th, 2012 as we drive through Old Topanga Canyon. Uh, noticing a little bit of fog hanging over the mountain range here. Uh, so it tells me there's probably going to be foggy on the coast, but uh, right here it's 63 degrees and the sun is coming through this morning. And like I said, old Topanga Canyon. I'm here with Scott Comedy, the guru of real estate, and we're talking about easements. What is an easement, Scott? An easement is a pain in the ass, Magnus. Ah, I see. <laughs> is that all it is? Well, there's a little more to it. An easement is, um, let's say you own a property and the property behind you does not have any access for a driveway to the road. So they're essentially landlocked. Uh, and it may just be dirt, you know, nobody's doing anything with it. But at some point, they have a plan, somebody will want to put something on there. So what they will do is as the, uh, the lots are planned out and plotted out, they will look forward to the point that they need access and they will create an easement across your property at some point, typically on the edge of the property, to allow them to do a driveway to put it in. So essentially you'll own the property, you'll pay the taxes on the property, all that good stuff, but you won't have use, somebody else will. So it can be an easement for a neighbor, uh, it can be easements for utility lines or sewers or drainage or whatever the case may be. Uh, lots and lots and lots of ways to have easements. And basically it is a way for somebody else to have access to your property. That's what an easement is. Uh-huh. Well, uh, I've heard of stories where easements have been created over time. Uh, uh, I don't know... Uh, that wasn't even recorded on title. Have you you've heard of that as well? Yeah, unfortunately, there's a lot of ways that an easement can be created. One of the examples that I've used for years in training classes is, um, you know, may, maybe you own a house and it's got a nice pool and it's got a tennis court and you get to be good friends with your neighbors, uh, you know, a couple of your neighbors in the neighborhood. And you say to them, uh, you know, they come over and ask, you know, can we use your tennis court or can we use your pool? Yeah, yeah, come on over anytime you want. So when you say come on over and use it anytime you want, you may have just created an easement for those people. Um, so what happens when you sell the property, you, you never give it another thought. You sell the property and the new buyers buy your house and they're in there. And uh, lo and behold, they see people with tennis rackets and towels walking through the side yard. They go out and confront them and it's the neighbors. Oh no, we have an easement to use the pool and tennis court anytime we want to. No you don't, I own this house. Yeah, 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 no, the, the old people that live here, the Joneses, uh, gave us the easement to, to use it. They never told us about that. Oh, well, that's your problem. Um, and it may very well be their problem. They may have to sue the Joneses who sold that house for not disclosing an easement that the Joneses realistically didn't even, didn't even know that they had ever created. But uh, if there's any way to prove that that was done, yes, there will be an easement there. So you'll see a lot of private roads, uh, you know, like the road we're on right now may be a private road and there may be a gate at one end. Uh, every five years, they may close it for a week just to restrict the access to people because they've been granting them uh, the use of the property, you know, the, the road for the last four years and 51 weeks. Um, if they go five years, they've granted an easement. So they don't do that. They lock it up to restrict access. And that's the same thing you need to be careful with with your neighbors. Um, when they say, can we use your tennis court? Uh, just let us know when you want to use it. We'll probably let you on. And then there's no easement. That's it. There you go. That's the lesson of the day from Scott Comedy. And I think that's it. Not quite. Well, it's it for right now. That's it for easements. For easements. It's a lot of things in this business that you need a real estate agent for. Yes, indeed. And even if you don't go with Scott or Magnus, make sure you have a licensed real estate agent to help you with your transaction. A realtor. A realtor. This is Magnus Helberg at thepartnerstrust.com on May 24th, 2012, signing off for my daily dashboard update in Los Angeles in Topanga Canyon, 64 degrees, and the sun is breaking through the fog layer. Have a great, great Thursday, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. I can hardly wait.
Enjoy the day, LA. Thanks for watching. That is Scott.comedy at thepartnerstrust.com saying goodbye, by the way. Have a great day. Bye.